Hi everybody. In this lesson we are learning fire science. That is the physics of combustion. According to NFPA 921 defines fire as a rapid oxidation process, which is a chemical reaction resulting in the evolution of light and heat in varying intensities. Fire is also defined as an uncontrolled combustion. The easiest definition of fire is the chemical reaction between oxygen, burning material in the presence of heat. A controlled combustion occurs in a heating appliance such as a furnace, boiler, or range etc. So, fire triangle is the combination of fuel, heat, and oxygen. When there is a chain reaction between all these, fire will take place and become uncontrolled. How to control fire is a simple methodology. Remove any one or more of these three elements. Fuel. In order for a fire to start, there must be a material to burn, and this is referred to as the fuel. Fuel is any kind of combustible material, including paper, wood, fabric, plastics, and rubber, oils, liquids, gases. The fuel for a fire is usually characterized by its moisture content, size, shape and quantity and this will determine how easily the fuel will burn and at what temperature. Heat. In addition to a fuel source, heat must be present in order for ignition to take place. All flammable materials give off flammable vapors which, when heat is present, extinction of the fire. To stop a fire. One of the three elements of the fire triangle must be removed. So, if a fire runs out of fuel, it will smolder out, if you can cool a fire down it will lose heat and go out, and if the oxygen is removed it will suffocate. Therefore, attempts at combating a fire and also preventing a fire are based upon these principles. Fire blankets, for example, suppress a fire, removing the oxygen and as a result, putting it out. Similarly, fire extinguishers are developed to eliminate one of the three elements, such as water fire extinguishers which cool the fire down and remove any heat. In brief, the methods of fire extinction is Number 1. Starvation. The extinction of fire by starvation is applied in three ways, colon, I buy removing combustible material from the neighborhood of the fire. Example of this are the drainage of fuel from burning oil tanks, the working out of cargo at a ship fire, the cutting of trenches in peat, heath and forest fires, the demolition of buildings to create a fire stop, counter burning in forest fires. 2. By removing the fire from the neighborhood of combustible material as, for instance, pulling apart a burning haystack or a thatched roof. 3. By subdividing the burning material, when the smaller fires produced may be left to burn out or to be extinguished more easily by other means. A typical example is the emulsification of the surface of burning oil, whilst the beating out of a heath fire owes much of its effectiveness to this. Number 2. Smothering. If the oxygen content of the atmosphere in the immediate neighborhood of the burning material can be sufficiently reduced combustion will cease. The general procedure in methods of this type is to prevent or impede the access of fresh air to the seat of the fire, and allow the combustion to reduce the oxygen content in the confined atmosphere until it extinguishes itself. The principle of smothering is employed on a small scale in snuffing a candle, and, on a large scale in capping a burning oil well. Small fires, such as those involving a person's clothing, can be smothered with a rug, blanket etc. while the use of sand or earth on a small metal fire is a further instance of the same principle. An important practical application of the smothering method is the use of foam. This forms a viscous coating over the burning material and limits, in so far as it is complete, the supply of air. It also tends to prevent the formation of flammable vapor. Another method of smothering is by the application of a cloud of finely divided particles of dry powder, usually sodium bicarbonate, from a pressurized extinguisher. 
Another class of smothering agent may be described as temporary in its blanketing effect. Thus the vigorous discharge of an inert gas in the immediate vicinity of the fire may so reduce the oxygen content of the atmosphere for the time being that combustion cannot be maintained. Carbon dioxide and nitrogen are familiar examples of this. Cooling. If the rate at which heat is generated by combustion is less than the rate at which it is dissipated through various agencies, the combustion cannot persist. In applying this principle of fire extinction, the first step is to accelerate the speed with which heat is removed from the fire, thus reducing the temperature of the burning mass and as a consequence the rate at which heat is produced. The application of a jet or spray of water to a fire is invariably based on this simple but fundamental principle. Other example is the emulsification of the surface of oil by means of emulsifying type of sprinkler head producing an oil in water or water in oil emulsion.